Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamco here, aka Scoop, back with the Mount Moon Battle Association Challenge. Um, we're taking on the Fairy Top Gym Leader in this video, as you can see on screen. Heavy Metal Fairy with the Mono Fairy Team. The rules were pretty simple: six v six singles, Moog on OU and below. Pretty sure, and uh, it was. I just had to win one match. And I had three opportunities to do so. This is the first battle we had. And it's a pretty solid battle. As you can see, I brought Rotom Wash, who is a defensive pivot. Mega Pincer, who is the standard Swords Dance variant. Sp uh, Heatron, who is specially defensive with Toxic and Roar. Scizor, who is banded with BP and U-Turn. Landers, who has Swords Dance. And Scarf Chomp, who has EQ and Iron Head. And you can see my opponent brought Azumarill, Whimsicott, Mega Diancy, um, Togekiss, Grand Bull, and Klefki. So I decided to lead Rotom because it's my best lead. And uh, I think it's my best lead. Matches up well against everything besides the women, uh, Whimsicott, I do believe. So I led with Rotom. Per usual, my Rotom lead, and he leads with Klefki. And this is pretty good for me because all he can really do is set up spikes. He can't T-wave me. He could have set up screens also. So I just went for the Will-O-Wisp. As he switches in Whimsicott. And here I'm predicting, you know, Leech Seed or Encore. Probably Encore then Leech Seed. So I would be uh, encore into Will-O-Wisp. So I'm gonna hard switch out to Scizor. Iron lock the Scizor. And I can go for U-turn after being encored. It didn't affect me because I hadn't went for a move yet. So here I can just go for a U-turn, predicting a switch. And he brings in the cleft key, which is okay. Uh, we can go straight into our heatron from here. U-turn doesn't do much damage. And he hard switches out. So I just fire off a lava plume because it's my best play. Uh, I could have burned the Azu. I could burn anything. And the cleft key would take major damage from the lava plume. And here, predicting earth power, I'm going to switch out into my Garchomp uh, to, you know, bluff a scarf. He should, he should think I'm scarf the way I brought it in, which I am. And I can KO with Earthquake from full, from Diancy at full after it Mega Evolves. So I double switched out into Rotom, but he may have thought I was Tank Chomp or something. He went for the Moon Blast to knock me out. And I switch out into Rotom, and Rotom doesn't take that well and gets a special attack drop. And that's, uh, that's shit and piss for me. So I'm going to switch back out and bring in... Um, Heatron, because I need my Rotom to help deal with the Togekiss. I need my Rotom, so I bring back in the Heatron here. And Garchomp being the least mem uh, least useful member on my team, I can switch back out, uh, predicting the Earth Power here. Actually, I think I switched to Landers here. Yeah, predicting the Earth Power. And now he should know I'm Scarfed. Or he should believe I'm Scarf 100% the way I brought this one in. And he should switch out. And he does switch out, but we're not Scarf. And we are going to go for the um, the Swords Dance here. After our attack gets dropped, it gets boosted right back up with the Swords Dance. He, he, had, to, he had to think we were Scarf that time. And uh, here, we're just going to fire off an Earthquake. I didn't know if he'd play around with Intimidator or anything like that, but he does switch out to the Clef Key, which I think was probably the worst switch he could have switched to. And I think Togekiss or 
we're not switching at all was the better play. And he brings back in the Gramble and gets the Intimidate off again. But I'm just gonna set up another Swords Dance because I know this thing can't Oko me unless it had Ice Punch. But Play Rough does a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot. And we're gonna fire off an Earthquake here and we are boosted. Boosted attack, Earthquake. We'll take out the Gramble from full. And we get our leftovers recovery back. But at this point, uh, Azu can revenge kill us with Aqua Jet. Which is okay, we'll allow that to happen. Now I'm gonna bring in Rotom. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch, predicting the Whimsicott to come back in. And he does withdraw the Azu and brings in the um, the Diancy, the Mega Diancy. And here we can just go um, to Scizor and fire off a bullet punch. Now he may think we're going for the U-turn here and he might go for a hidden power fire or something. He stayed in regardless and we do fire off the bullet punch and we get the knockout. And he brings in his Whimsicott. It's burnt. Um, at this point, I wasn't sure what it was gonna do, but it goes for the Memento and lowers my attack and special attack harshly. Harshly lowers my attacks and faints. And I go for BP and it fails because there's no opponent in front of me. And there he brings back in the Azu. And here, I'm, I'm, I know he's going for the belly drum. Like, it's terrifying me <laughs> how scary this is. He goes for belly drum as I'm sacrificing my chomp off. He goes for the Aqua Jet and a Belly Drum. Aqua Jet will knock out Garchomp from that range. Any range being uh, <laughs> not defensively invested. And my Citrus, or his Citrus Berry pops thanks to my Rough Skin recoil or damage, whatever you want to call that. And gives him health back, which really sucks for me. Now I have to bring in my Mega Pincer and fire off a quick attack. Mega Pincer is beautiful. And does quite a bit of damage. It brings him down to bullet, bullet punch range from Scizor. And the Aqua Jet kills the Mega Pincer, which is fine. Now I can bring in my Scizor and I can go for the Banded Bullet Punch. Max Attack Banded Bullet Punch, which from that range will knock out being a neutral hit and he brings in his togekiss and knowing I can just get as much damage off as possible I go for the bullet punch and it's an Oko because it's a critical hit it really sucks for my opponent but I had Rotom Wash in the back so I don't think it was that big of a big of a deal I had Rotom Wash in the back and a banded scissor and he couldn't have took me out with one hit unless he had like fire blast or flamethrower or something like that so it was a really good match to Heavy Metal Fairy. Like I said, the link to their Twitter will be in the description below. And yada, yada, yada. We grabbed the Fairy type uh, gym badge in our first attempt, which is really nice. And we only have one more badge to go before we can enter the Elite Four, which is really cool. So stay tuned for that. And if you liked, Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that. Thank you very much.